While China started military campaigns against Taiwan, America sent its speaker Nancy Pelosi on the island. This left China in fumes and America has now decided to delay Taiwan Policy Act of 2022. While China speaks about One China Policy, calls Taiwan as its part, America is planning to discuss the Taiwan Policy Act 2022 in September. US Senator Lindsey Graham said, when it comes to Taiwan, our response should be that we are for democracy and against communist aggression. We live in dangerous times. China is sizing up America and our commitment to Taiwan. The danger will only grow worse if we show weakness in the face of Chinese threats and aggression towards Taiwan. The Biden administration is trying to make changes to the bipartisan bill to increase military and economic relationship between the US and Taiwan. Nancy Pelosi thinks China is trying to establish a sort of a new normal by performing military activities. First point to note is, Taiwan is defined as a major non-NATO ally in the act. This would mean it would be the US closest global partner, especially on trade and security cooperation. The second point is, there is a need to upgrade the mission from cultural center to Taiwan representative office. This would require confirmation for the head of the office. The US would continue to maintain one China policy. Therefore, the experts believe that there is a need to revise America's Taiwan policy. Rename the Taipei Economic and Cultural Representative Office to Taiwan Representative Office. This needs to go through a legal process. Implementation of an enhanced defense partnership between the United States and Taiwan. Amend the Foreign Assistance Act to designate Taiwan as a major non-NATO ally. Provide Taiwan's preferences for foreign assistance and arms exports. Notify Congress before termination of the designation. Inclusion of Taiwan in international organizations. This will address Taiwan's representation and sovereignty. Even the United States cannot oppose any initiative that would change Taiwan's status without consent. U.S. federal government employees can learn, live and work in Taiwan for up to two years under Taiwan Fellowship Act. Taiwan would have a voice in bilateral and multilateral dialogues. Sanctioned regime will safeguard Taiwan from hostilities in or around the island. No one would be allowed to interfere with its territorial integrity. In fact, a sanctions regime will be imposed against the People's Republic of China. Nothing has been mentioned on restoration of diplomatic relations with Taiwan or altering the United States government's position on Taiwan's international status. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.